All right, now we're looking at volume and total surface area for complex shapes. So we're going to move on to a new shape here, which will be the stacked block. So stacked block, you'll see that there are two blocks stacked on top of each other. With this in case, we're going to have to look at things a little bit differently. The volume, because they're not sharing a common base as such, the you can't take the area of the base times the height for the volume. We're going to have to take the volume of the block on the top and the volume of the block on the bottom and add them together to get your total volume. The total surface area gets a little bit more complicated. Sometimes you need to think of it like we're looking at a cake or something else or making a box or model out of these things. The total surface area is obviously the outside of everything. And what we're going to look at is that there is a shared area between the two. So I've labeled the top one number one and the bottom one number two. So we're going to find the total surface area of both of them. Total surface area one, total surface area two. And if you add them together, you get the total surface area of everything. But because there's a shared area between the two of them where they touch the underneath of block one and a part of block two, two on the top we have to take that away because you wouldn't be putting any material in there you wouldn't have to go and put the fancy icing in between the two slices of a cake or the layers of a cake you wouldn't have to put in a sheet of metal or cardboard or anything in between the two little boxes you'd be able to leave them out you know you have to take it away twice because it's both on up on shape one and on shape two if i look at it from the top down you can see it's pretty uniform from the front and the sides and from the top you'll see that the one area of the top block number one is covering up the hole that you would have cut in block two so their two areas together actually make up just the area of the top of the one block. That means that we can get away with a little bit of a trick here. If you were cutting it out of cardboard, you would have cut out the hole in block two, the bottom one, and used that, or reused it as the lid for block one. So if I look at it differently now, the shaded parts there are stacked on top of each other, and they're exactly the they will fit exactly inside of each other. That saves us a little bit of time here. All right, so I'm gonna modify my total surface area formula to look a little different. So if I take the top block, I'm only gonna take the perimeter of the small shaded area and times that by height to get the band or the strip that you would put around the outside, that unshaded part on number one. And then I'd work out the full total surface area of number two, because I would assume that that little lid on number one would be included in the area of the base of block two. So that would make it a little bit easier. All right. Hopefully that makes it a little bit more simple and straightforward. That's a little tip and trick. Even if you did do it the long way around with the other formula like this, you would end up getting the same solution. So you can use both, but we generally find that when you simplify things, you land up with this last one anyway. All right, so good luck. Hopefully that makes things a little bit clearer for you.